hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about the derivation of pull up to pull down ratio of n mos inverter driven by another n mos inverter so zpu by zpd i am going to explain for the n mos inverter for the standard n mos inverter driven by another n mos inverter generally any type of a device that can driven the n mos inverter let us consider a state where the two inverters are cascaded each other so that <coughs> we are going to derive the uh, pull up to pull down ratio for the n mos inverter driven by another n mos inverter consider consider two n mos inverters consider two n mos inverters in cascade okay one n mos inverter followed by another inverter this is the output this is the input voltage okay here is the output one okay so now this n mos inverter suppose if input is equal to zero input equal to zero the output of first inverter inverter one we can say it is inverter one and it is the inverter two <coughs> if input is equal to zero inverter one output is one again that one is acting as the input for this inverter 2 then output is equal to 0 okay as there are two inverters we can say input is equal to output input is equal to output and we are studying these characteristics of this inverter at the point where we are having input is equal to output uh, inverter v inverter so if you draw the characteristics of this nmos inverter this is the input <coughs> this is the output there exists a transfer characteristic curve between vdd and zero where exactly at this particular point we are having v inverter is equal to v output is equal to v inverter v input is equal to v output is equal to at this particular point v inverter so we are going to find the characteristics of ZPU by ZPD at this particular point where input is equal to output as said to be V inverter <coughs> or we can say this particular voltage is 0 0.5 times VDD half of the input voltage maximum voltage okay so now uh, we know the NMOS inverter diagram again I am going to draw because the entire operation is completely based on this NMOS inverter structure only so it is VSS and this is VDD this one is the V out we know NMOS inverter is having one depletion mode transistor in the pull up place and one enhancement mode transistor in the pull down place this is the pull up transistor and it is the pull down transistor with input <coughs> ok now Assume this transistor N enhancement mode N mos transistor and a depletion mode N mos transistor both the transistors are in saturation region. Okay. Assume both the transistors assume both the transistors are in saturation region both the transistors are in saturation region so as both the transistors are in saturation region what is the current ids that we have to consider therefore the drain to source current IDS is taken as 
taken as IDS is equal to IDS is equal to <coughs> let us consider in terms of K K into W by L VGS minus VT whole square by 2 VGS minus VT whole square by 2 okay this is the standard equation when the transistor when the transistor is said to be operated in the saturation region now apply the current equation for the depletion mode transistor and as well as for the enhancement mode transistor because both the transistors are in saturation region we need to apply this current flow for these two when they are in the depletion mode and as well as enhancement mode for depletion mode For a depletion mode of operation, for depletion mode transistor, okay, IDS is equal to, IDS is equal to K into W by L, W, depletion mode transistor is nothing but we can say it is a pull up transistor. We can say it is a pull up transistor, that's why it belongs to pull up. Again, this length also belongs to pull up. So, WPU by LPU into VGS. What is the VGS for this depletion mode transistor? See, VGS. We have given VGS is equal to 0. VGS equal to 0 for this depletion mode transistor. So, 0 minus VT for depletion mode transistor. Let us consider VTD by 2 that means we are writing this ideas equation basic standard ideas equation which is now applicable to this depletion mode transistor all these parameters now apply to depletion mode transistor square okay that is equal to k into wpu by lpu into vtd square by 2 okay now let z is equal to l by w is known as length to z is known as length to width ratio of a transistor <coughs> z is said to be length to width ratio of a transistor l by w okay as it is WPU by LPU, we are rewriting, we are just substituting in terms of Z, then it becomes 1 by Z and that Z becomes ZPU because it belongs to the pull-up place. Okay. So, therefore, we can write this IDS for this depletion mode transistor is equal to K into 1 by ZPU VTD square by this is the first equation. Now, for enhancement mode transistor, for enhancement mode transistor, which is nothing but pull down, which is nothing but pull down. So, take the IDS equation, IDS is equal to K into W by L into CW is nothing but now it belongs to pull down and this L belongs to pull down VGS minus VT VGS minus VT what is the VGS voltage here VGS is equal to V input minus VT that belongs to enhancement mode divided by 2 this square ok so that is equal to K into we know already it is Z. L by W is nothing but Z. That belongs to ZPD into. We can write it as V input is equal to V output is equal to V inverter. We have assumed one condition. Minus VTN whole square by 2. This is the ideas equation for the enhancement mode transistor. This is said to be second equation. Now, what we have assumed? We have assumed a condition that both the transistors are said to be in saturation region as both transistors are in saturation region there exists a static current flow from vdd to vss 
that is nothing but IDS1 is equal to IDS2. We can take it as IDS1 for the depletion mode and IDS2. IDS1. Okay. So, as both the transistor as both the transistors are in saturation region as both the transistors are in saturation region there exists a static current flow from VDD to VSS nothing but same current flows in both the transistors so IDS1 is equal to IDS2 that implies IDS1 is equal to IDS2 so equate these two so K into 1 by ZPU into VTD square by 2 is equal to K into 1 by ZPD into V inverter minus VTN whole square by 2. So, 2 to cancel, KK cancel and what we need? ZPU by ZPD. So, keep ZPU by ZPD on left hand side and remaining all on the right hand side. ZPU by ZPD means VTD square by V inverter minus VTN whole square. Typical values we need to substitute here. Typical values VTD depletion mode transistors threshold voltage is always a negative voltage. So, which is of minus 0 0.6 VDD. Always every voltage we are writing in terms of VDD only. So, V inverter is equal to I told you already it is exactly at the 0.5 VDD and VTN which is a threshold voltage of the enhanced minimum transistor which is of 0 0.2 times VDD okay now substitute all these values in this ZPU by ZPD therefore ZPU by ZPD is equal to VTD square is nothing but minus 0 0.6 square minus 0 0.6 VDD whole square divided by V inverter is 0 0.5 VDD minus VTN is nothing but 0 0.2 VDD whole square. Now, so if you square this, you will be having 0 0.36 VDD square divided by uh, divided by what we have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 0 0.3 which is square 0 0.09 VDD square that is equal to 36 by 9 which is nothing but 4 by 1 okay so this is ZPU by ZPD ratio therefore the pull up to pull down transistors ZPU by ZPD ratio should be 4 is to 1 for the NMOS inverter. Okay. The minimum ratio we should maintain is 4 is to 1. Beyond, uh, above that is accepted but below that is not accepted and the, transist, the transfer characteristics are the required characteristics will not be approached if we reduce this value. Okay, therefore, the pull up to pull down ratio of an NMOS inverter should be a minimum of 4 is to 1. This is the condition. Okay, I will write here the minimum pull up to pull down ratio for NMOS inverter should be 4 is to 1 ok so I will explain the pull up to pull down ratio of the NMOS inverter driven by one or more pass transistors 
in the next video thank you